All right, in this video, I am tearing apart a 15.5 horse Briggs & Stratton Intec single cylinder engine to rebuild it. This engine was neglected and um, water had mixed with the oil and there was a lot of abrasive wear and scoring and gouging due to lack of lubrication and the rings were also rust welded to the cylinder, which these motors use a cast iron liner in the cylinder and um, as you see there I was having trouble moving the crankshaft back and forth and uh, I had to take the uh, cylinder head off because I had to do that anyways to hone it and um, so we take the uh, cylinder head off which is just a couple bolts and um, it's a relatively easy process and we see there is a rat's nest so this motor probably also overheated because you'll see signs of water intrusion which that's really oxidized so most likely one of the valves was stuck open and allowed water to enter the cylinder and as you see there that cylinder is very rusty and that piston had a little bit of slop to it and the sides were scored too so this motor was due for a rebuild um, a lot of people think that it's not cost effective to rebuild a motor but you figure you can rebuild one of these for $150 max when a new motor is about 700 Now, I own my own small engine repair shop, lawnmower shop, whatever you want to call it, and um, I'm certified in it, so I don't recommend anybody rebuild an uh, engine unless you know what you're doing because there's certain torque specs, and all this other prep work it has to be done you have to do it right or it won't work now on some of these Briggs motors especially the older ones this is an older intake they used a, a T40 Torx on the uh, connecting rod which I don't miss them bolts are a lot easier and uh, I don't know how many Torx sockets I've broke over the years because some of them bolts are really tight especially the ones that have a uh, Loctite on them and then they're like torque to a really high torque and so we get the rod cap off here with some abrasive wear in here like I said this video is a sped up and now I'm trying to get the piston out of the cylinder and there it went so now I'm going to hone all the rust out of the cylinder and prepare it for rebuild I've yet to order the parts because as of this voiceover October 10th 2021 uh, the place where I get my Briggs and Stratton parts are going through a, a website upgrade and they're still not back online. So I hope you all enjoy this new format. There's no more background noise. It's just me talking for the duration of the video and basically having a conversation with you guys. And um, I go honing it out and I did manage to hone it. I had to do it like two or three times. When you hone an engine, you got to be careful that you don't hone it too much that you oversize the bore and in this case I didn't but anyways I hope you all enjoyed this video and stay tuned for part two when I do the full rebuild